A sportsman's Guide. I get this in the mail occasionally. The uh, boys have all these catch on there about you know, money off orders, uh, free shipping after X amount of dollars. You know, become a club member. They have a club member price or buyer's club, what they call a buyer's club price, and then a non member price. So I thought I'd sit back and look at this. I've seen a lot of gear in here I either own or uh, have something similar to it or experience with prices compared to what they're asking for. So right off the bat here on the front page, a US GI MSS, Military Sleep System. The Buyer's Club price is $206, non-member price $229. This is used and in very good shape. 206 dollars for the buyer's club price. $229.99 for club or for non-club member. I picked this up off eBay for $125 in near mint condition. So no. 125 130 you can find these in in excellent condition this is saying in very good shape for 206.99 that's if you become a club member so they have some they have a lot of stuff from foreign this is hungarian uh, italian center this here it's weird trying to do it well, I have the camera on a tripod. So, move it back just a tad. There we go. So, yeah, there's some uh, uh, cotton pajamas. Uh, I'm big on that. Uh, here we go. Greek military surplus heavy duffel bag. All right, for one, I didn't even know that Greece had a military. They went $31.49 for club member. You can pick up a U.S. Uh, duffel bag on eBay. 15 bucks. Uh, Bulgarian helmet. Uh, these helmets here you can pick up off CH Cadell, usually for $15 to $20. They're wanting $31.49 for Buyers Club. A lot of uh, fireman surplus here. More Italian stuff up here in the top. MREs, uh, three-pack U.S. military surplus fleece caps down here, uh, $20 for Buyer's Club. If you've ever uh, worn one of these, um, yeah, go get a Carhartt. Your head will freeze. Ah, uh, this is good. $161 right up here for the Molly Field Pack. I don't have a Molly Field Pack. I have a uh, Dutch Field Pack with Molly straps that I got off Verustalika. So this does have complete with the frame. That sounds about reasonable. So $161 if you were a Buyers Club member. Now this is funny. These are those Swiss backpacks. Uh, some websites you can find if you buy the jacket, you get the backpack for free. Um, $17.99. You can usually get that jacket for $20 again and get the backpack as well. Uh, Serbian military gas mask. This is an M1 gas mask. Bring it up here. Uh, $35.99 if you're a buyer club member. $40 if you're not. You can pick the, these up off CH Cadell. Uh, half the price. Fox tactical knife. $13.99. Not big on uh, Fox knives. Of course, they have 
I mean, they got neat stuff in here. If that's your thing, that's your thing. There's a lot of uh, magazines, extended magazines out there for the uh, for the left leftist in your life. I uh, told my buddy you should get one of these drum magazines and put the uh, California state flag on it. And their ammo, they, they have uh, they have some decent ammo in here. Federal uh, blazer over here. Uh, the Salir and Ballot, I think, is pretty cheap ammo. This one right here is interesting. Super Suppressed Handgun Ammo by Winchester. So, just because of it's supposed to provide max noise reduction, I'm interested in trying it. Actually, uh, carry some handguns. Uh, five hundred and fifty dollars for a ten millimeter, two hundred eight for a Taurus nine millimeter. Sights. All right, so knives. This one here in the top is eighty nine dollars and ten cents if you're a Buyers Club member. $99 if you're not. The Buck and Bear Tactical Bushcraft Trekker Knife. This is D2 steel. Right, so uh, it's D2. I don't know what else. There, there's so many opinions out there about D2. Everything that I, I don't own D2, but everything I've heard of D2, it, it's just it's horrible steel. It's got that crappy coating on it and allegedly burl maple handles. This one down here, now this one's funny. This one down here, the Monster Size Tactical Blade. It's called the Batman Knife. $89 if you are a Buyer's Club member, $100 if you are not. Once again, it's D2 steel, but they don't show the blade. They're charging $100 for a knife that you can't even see the blade on. So... Uh, this whoever Buck and Bear is a D2 high carbon D2 high carbon. This is funny down here. They put the name Humvee and Uzi on here, hoping people will jump up and buy these. Junk. Over here, down at the bottom, we have some shred. Now it, it is a small shred that's only a 10 inch hatchet, but 25 bucks even for you get the hatchet and a, a knife combo. They're calling it a machete. It is eight point. Four, seven inches that's not a machete 25 bucks for shred uh shred's durable chinese steel that's actually better than anything over here uh, i don't know anything about hq issue a sog survival tomahawk junk up here at the top get the light here they actually uh sell some condor over here uh a condor mini Parang. I love Condor knives. Seventy-six, forty-eight for Buyer Club. You can find it cheaper on Amazon or eBay. Now this HQ issue, I don't know anything, but it's uh, about them. Like I said, down here on this one, uh, but it does have the trail cutter machete. Twenty-two ninety-nine for non-club member. Uh, that'd be worth it just to see uh, how long it would last. This stuff over here. Absolute junk. Of course, you know it's high quality when they put inserts in here for uh, you know wedding bands and um, things of that nature. Why choose Geico? Okay, so yeah, high quality here. Uh, vests, pants, backpacks, coats, pants, boots. Uh, more uh, coats and tactical gear, socks, belts, watches, gloves, uh, tents, cots, stoves, miscellaneous survival gear there. Looks like a, a fire starter and radios. Now this one's funny. I've been seeing these a lot. The T 
Teacop Combat Tent. $206 for Buyer Club. $229 non-Buyer Club. Let me tell you something. I have I have two free Harbor Freight tarps sitting in my closet that I could build this. $200. Bucks. So I, that may, may not be an outrageous asking price on their end. Uh, but just in general, that's outrageous. No way. Don't see anything. Don't see anything. Once again, really, really important stuff here. Uh, surplus pajama pants. Uh, Miltech making a machete. I uh, don't know about Miltech machetes. This is pretty good though. Uh, Danish porta potty. $35.99 if you're a club member. Everybody needs one of those. That's like the ultimate gift to give when you receive a fruitcake. Now, I am interested in this. The two-pack Russian military surplus boonie hats. Protect your dome from sunburn. Well, I, I'm bald, so that's very important to me. $15.29, $17 for non-club member, which I am, for some Russian boonie hats. And... It's interesting, uh, let's see if uh, you can focus on that. Interesting uh, camel pattern they have on there. I, I'm thinking about those boonie hats. Cots, coats, saws. All right, so I own this. I bought two of these. Belgian military surplus. That's that Belgian jigsaw camel. $26.99. For one jacket, if you're a Buyer's Club member, $30 if you're not. Go to verustalika.com. I picked these up for $15 a piece. Sweaters, shoes, Polish. Oh, here's another one. This, this Polish bread bag just arrived. Look at that. It says, just arrived. Easy gear organization. Uh, there's not a lot of room in these. They're nice. They're durable. $17.99? I don't think so. Okay, so up in the top here, the French military surplus tent. $40 for non-member, $35.99 for member. It's actually a realistic price. They got it on like closeout. Problem is the tent sucks, so don't buy it. The other thing they have that has interested me Five new assorted Colombian military surplus machetes <laughs> because it's a jungle out there. $22.99 for non member. Styles may vary. So basically, you order this and you're going to receive five mystery machetes in the mail for $23. Eh, I want to take that risk. Right, so Personally, I think it's a scam. I think it's a gimmick. Uh, I just don't see it. I absolutely do not see joining the club, paying them money so I can get these discounts when virtually everything I pointed at in there that I know of, I can find much, much cheaper. Uh, but to each his own, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, I'm real interested in those machetes, though. That's... I, I, I really want a mystery machetes coming to your door. I mean, who doesn't want that? So that's my take on Sportsman's Guide.